Let's see how to deploy Streamsets Data Collector in AWS Marketplace. All I need to do here is search for Streamsets. And I want to install Streamsets Data Collector. Now, I'll note there's a free trial. What this means is that I can use Streamsets Data Collector for five days without paying any software charges. I still have to pay for the EC2 instance, but this will let me try it out at a very low cost. So let's continue and subscribe. So continue again. And I want to install it into the US West 2 Oregon region. Now I could launch it on a variety of different uh, instance types, but I'm going to go with the recommended T3 large with two virtual cores. And I'll set my uh, VPC and I'll create a new security group so that I have the correct ports in exposed. So let's see, Pat demo security group demo. And let me just choose the right key pair. Okay, now I'm ready to launch. Now, um, all I need to do is go and uh, look in the EC2 console and wait for this to start up. The key piece of information here is the AMI ID. So if we uh, search for that, I can just refresh here and I should see that the instance is running, it's initializing. I can copy the uh, public IP here and uh, let's go to the endpoint. I just need to put 18.630 on the end. And as I might expect, uh, the service isn't quite up yet. So uh, all we need to do is maybe refresh this page every minute or two uh, until it's fully up. The instance is up, but I'm just waiting for data collector itself to start. Oh, and here we are. So I'll log in. Um, I'll mention here that this whole process is covered in the uh, Streamsets Data Collector documentation, including the fact that you use um, the instance ID as the password. So if I go back to my instances here, I'll copy that uh, instance ID and go paste it into here and I can log in and I can get straight down to creating uh, my first Amazon pipeline. And perhaps I'll choose Amazon S3 as the origin and I can go on and start ingesting records.